Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sunshine Z. If you're new here, you're welcome. And if you're returning or you're a subscriber, I truly appreciate you. And before you even ask, yes, it's me. <laughs> it's just me without the makeup. But this is how I look in my natural state. And the reason for that is that um, today's video is a vlog. I think it's some kind of a vlog. I attempted to do a vlog. I, I don't think I got it right. <laughs> this does not completely count as a vlog, but it was my first attempt at vlogging. And as I said, first of all, I don't even have a tripod. Uh, carrying the camera is quite heavy. And the worst part is I reviewed the footage and I completely kind of hated it however i did challenge myself to put it up there because i keep saying that i am a recovering perfectionist and so as a recovering perfectionist <laughs> i need to show signs that i am recovering in terms of i am able to do things imperfectly and be okay with them so i'm not saying i'm okay with it if you do see this video up then I think that's a big step <laughs> however you must know that I was still nervous to put it out there because I just felt like I hated the angles I hated how I looked you should see my face when I start the the vlog I've got things on my face I don't like it it was a mess but I'm still gonna put it out there so I'm introducing the vlog um, please check it out um, I try to explain what I'm going to be doing on that day and I only captured one day's worth of stuff that I was doing um, I, I tried to think of other things to include in the vlog and I took my camera with however I forgot my AC card and guys it just it didn't happen you know what they say if at first you don't succeed you try and try again and hopefully sometime in the near future i will try i will attempt to do a vlog again and hopefully it will be better but the whole point of me actually even sharing this besides the fact that i'm trying to get over my perfectionism but it's also to show you that you have to start somewhere okay you don't start with the great angles you don't start with the great lighting you start somewhere and this is my somewhere of vlogging and uh, do excuse what you see it's a bit messy but do excuse what you see and let's get right into it i'll be back with my commentary hi guys um okay let me look into the lens so this is actually just an attempt to vlog uh, simply because I do have something to do today <laughs> um, so it's the 2nd of December I'm actually still busy with um, editing the video that's supposed to go up today but it's taking quite a while and if I wait for it I fear that I will be late for my appointment so today I'm going for um, my first okay i feel like this thing is not <laughs> today i'm going for my first um dimmer planning and chemical peel session i just yeah i like things first of all but it's not even about liking things i just want to try it out and see if it will work actually my skin as is is looking a lot better i know it's not like the best but it's looking a lot better than it was a couple of months ago uh, my acne is clearing up my spots are clearing up as well so yeah i want to just try this out so yeah so that's what i'm gonna do today i'm gonna try vlog i don't know how to do it as you can see i'm kind of winging it here I'm going to try vlog and I have an errand to run for a friend. Actually, what happened was that um, this friend has the sniffles and I offered to run errands for them should they need to because we don't need to be spreading around the sniffles. Um, and yeah, so they just said, OK, fine, you know, we'll see if I have any errands to run. 
so then this morning i wake up and i'm thinking you know what i want to show this person that i really appreciate them and one of the ways to do so is to put together a care package i thought that would be really sweet but for some reason the overthinker that i am i started overthinking and i started sort of talking myself out of it because it was like oh my goodness it's gonna be so much work is it even you know i don't know what am i even gonna put in the care package and just as i was like you know trying to figure out what i'm gonna do then she texts me and says listen can i take you up on the offer to run the errand so then i'm like you know what this is a sign <laughs> so i am going to put together a care package for them so what i'm gonna do is I don't want to show you my messed up disc so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to reuse this um so this was a gift that i bought for myself so i'm going to just reuse this box and put together i don't know a couple of things snacks or whatever uh, i'm thinking chocolate a book i don't know something i don't know something to help uplift her because you know obviously she's not feeling well and stuff so let me not go on and on i was hoping this thing would finish but it's still on like 89 percent and i'm gonna be late and i hate being late so oh and so i'm gonna do the skin thing i'm gonna try vlog there and then i'm gonna run the errand and then i'm gonna try fill the care package box thing so i'm gonna try show you as i do all of these things i'm gonna drop it off for her and then i'm going to go try find um a handheld tripod thingy because i don't have one so and this camera is quite heavy i'm actually like my hand is <laughs> this camera is quite heavy and it's not it's not like the most um it's not the wisest way to try and vlog so i'm gonna try to get that thing today i tried to look for one online but i kept reading comments that said you know what rather test it out with your camera because some cameras are a bit too heavy and whatnot so that's what i'm gonna try to do so okay let me just end this here now i'm gonna leave just now because i don't want to be late and i'll try my best let's hope this actually happens and um that i decide to post this okay see you just now
and just like that that's my first vlog <laughs> i told you it wasn't that great however i felt like i had ended it abruptly and so that's why i decided to just record this to start the vlog and also to end the vlog and to give you some feedback on um, my skin results and hence i didn't put on any makeup just so that you can see um i don't know what i want you to see because honestly speaking if i were to be completely honest i don't see much of a difference from the procedure that i had done so it's not even actually a procedure i don't think you can call it a procedure but it's a skincare treatment let me call it that um and it was dema planning and a chemical peel so let me just give you a bit of background so i i left on time i think i was going to be exactly on time i wasn't going to be like early or anything but i was going to get there exactly on time however my phone just i don't know what happened my phone wouldn't um my location wouldn't update to my google maps and so i couldn't navigate to the place so i literally was doing something very dangerous which was driving while reading instructions of where to turn and what to do and it was really really bad i got lost i eventually called the place to say hey i'm lost i'm late i'm lost and only to find out i wasn't too far i was like actually about less than five minutes away uh, when i called uh, but they still had to like give me directions so by the time i got there i was already about 15 minutes late and let me tell you i hate being late and this wasn't just like it wasn't a good first impression um not that i'm trying to impress anyone but i mean you can imagine it's the first time i'm going to this place and i'm late and i was lost but i think the fact that i was lost and when i got there i was so flustered i think they were very understanding i must say they were very kind and very understanding about the whole situation you know they were trying to calm me down actually they were just like calm down you are here now you know because i just got so frustrated and just so you know you know when things don't go your way you know how you feel as as mentioned <laughs> as a perfectionist a former perfectionist it really just throws you off when things go, don't go according to plan and i'm such a planner so it was quite you know it it, it, it threw me off um however we still went ahead with the treatment and the lady was very kind and she was explaining everything during the procedure i keep calling it a procedure during the treatment and um she did mention that it was going to be quite fast because i was late however it still it went by too quickly and i think for me um it's not a it's not the kind of skin care treatment that makes you feel good about yourself so i love skincare uh, treatments and i love masking and all of these things and what i like about those things is that you get to just like you know lay down with on your couch or even just like uh, when you go to to the salon or whatever and you're just relaxing that's what i'm into and i think facials give me that and like with this it felt very like this is something that you need to do and that's it there was nothing really relaxing about it so i didn't like that um about the procedure um and it was it was a combo deal and that's the thing about combo deals you end up taking something that you didn't really necessarily want to do so the chemical peel was not something that i necessarily really really wanted to do i was curious about it because i had never done a chemical peel before so you know i didn't mind it but it wasn't the whole you know it wasn't something that i was like really really um looking forward to and it really really stings guys it it was so <laughs> It, it stings it's very unpleasant um you know and i think in my mind when you think about chemical peel it really sounds like something hectic and it is trust me it is quite hectic it smells horrible that the, the smell is intoxicating actually um and i don't know it wasn't an enjoyable experience if i were to be completely honest with you guys about it 
and the demo planning so we started with the demo planning actually and i felt like i don't know i've seen uh, on youtube and everywhere else i've seen people do it and what i've seen is that their skin is well oiled i don't know if it was my skin or if it wasn't oiled but it felt very dry it felt like um it was being done on a very dry skin surface and yeah it just made it i don't know it, it just it felt weird <laughs> It really felt weird so i will say this if you're looking for a treatment that is um that makes you feel good about yourself that makes you feel nice and still does the you know not chemical peels but still does the cleansing and um all of those kinds of things go for a normal facial um you know choose whichever facial you go for i've done facials before and i love facials compared to this treatment which like I'm saying, personally, I don't see much of a difference. I was told there'll be a difference. Um, and it's been exactly seven days. And I just, I, I, I don't see the difference. And perhaps it's because I didn't really enjoy it. So maybe I'm not being as objective because I didn't really enjoy it. You know how some things are in your mind. If you enjoyed it, then you feel like, oh, I'm seeing a difference and all of that. But because I didn't enjoy it, I'm feeling like, mm, I don't even see the difference. So would I do it again? Probably not. Um, what I think I will continue to do is dimmer planning. But I think I'll do that myself. So I'm going to have to watch a lot of youtube tutorials on how to do that i'm gonna get the blades uh, and do it myself which i think she explains it or maybe i'll just attach it somewhere to explain what the process is about but basically they take a it's not a sharp um blade to just remove um the hairs and the sort of like the first not the first layer but like the flakiness of you know um, you know acne and just the dryness of skin and perhaps that's what I was hearing when I heard the dryness It was like they're scraping something very, very dry and perhaps that's what made me feel like oh this feels weird um, But yeah, that's what dim planning is and then the chemical peel is what she applied afterwards Which as I said first of all, I felt like I was suffocating and um, It just really stings. It doesn't sting for too long but I don't think I would do that again. I think I'll definitely opt for a facial in future. So fast forward to after the treatment. And as I said, they were very kind. So if you do want me to include details of where I got it done, I will gladly do so. Please just let me know. I'm not going to leave the details because first of all, I'm not getting paid for this girl guy whoever's watching but um if you do want the details let me know and i will include the details in the comment section okay so as mentioned i also wanted to put together a care box for a friend and i was running an errand for a friend however i had woken up that morning with a headache i didn't i don't think i mentioned it in in the video but i woke up with a slight headache and then i went and got lost and all of the things that happened and you know everything that happened just escalated my headache and now i still had to run this errand and still want to put together the the, the care box so what i had envisioned in my mind in terms of vlogging did not go according to plan simply because everything just kind of got thrown off plus i had now a massive headache happening but i did manage to put together the care box so have a look at what i managed to do okay um i am back from the shops sorry i couldn't take you with so um i had like such a long day i had a headache and everything so i'm just gonna first pack all the stuff that she she needed like did a whole disc him thing um which yeah was a lot <sighs> okay 
Okay, so this uh, just for a case. This is some tea. I thought tea would also be a good idea. So that's also gonna go into the box. So in the box we've got okay, this is like some um some better king some dried fruit. So we have nothing actually in the box. It's just some dried fruit. I'm gonna put in the tea. Okay, I just need to remember everything that I've got. Um, let's see. Other stuff is for me. So I've got her a chocolate as well. That's going in there. I got her some built on I thought she might want to chew on something salty because I've got a lot of sweet stuff actually um, this is one of them so these are like some sugar free sweets um, this is for her this is for her okay so these are her medication Okay, so this is the stuff she sent for. Just get that. I hope these plastics are not too, making too much noise. So this is the stuff she sent me for. So that's like the meds and stuff. And then I've got the... What else did I get for her? Okay, so I think that's all from this game that I've got for her. And then I got the card. I got her this. So this is like a beauty sleeping theme of Bob. I don't know. Yeah, I thought it would be cute. I just need to remember to put take off the prices I forgot about the prices actually I hope this other stuff doesn't have prices as well oops okay so yeah that I thought that would be cute um, so that she can sleep um, and then seeing as if she's gonna be indoors i'm assuming she's going to take a lot of baths so i got some bath bomb i think that would be nice i think she's going to enjoy that and that is all for the for my little care box thingy my bob so we've got chocolate we've got sweets we've got dried fruit we've got something salty we've got some tea and there we go and oh yeah also a get well soon card so there we go i'm gonna just write in this quickly and then put it in there and there we have it that's our um little care box i hope she likes it i hope you can see it it's so cute isn't it so yeah that's about it i couldn't take you with to the shops because yeah it's a long long story long day but let me just quickly write in the card and then get her to come pick these up i hope she's excited um i'll see if i just show show her to you or we'll see we'll see how it goes okay so guys that was my care box uh that i put together and I think it wasn't too bad for a first attempt and I really would advise that should you have somebody close to you who might be feeling a bit under the weather or they're sick or they're not able to go out maybe a new mummy for whatever reason please do offer to run errands for them or just maybe cook for them whatever it is whatever your strength is try you know try something that's more your strength if you want to be cooking for somebody can do you're not such a great cook and then you make things worse you know <laughs> 
so just you know whatever it is that you might be good at if you're good at cleaning maybe offer to clean or offer to babysit whatever it is that you can offer to do um to make that person's life easier i think it's something that we should practice i'm not saying this because i practice it it was my first time ever um, putting together a care box so clearly it's something that's still new to me i'm trying to learn that and i just want to encourage you to do the same for somebody else i think we take for granted um you know how you know these little acts of service can go a very long way my friend really enjoyed it she was so happy and you know i couldn't show her um show her because i think in the video i mentioned i might show her to you but i couldn't show her and um but she was really really happy and i, I like i felt like wow you know i felt really good about myself but more than that i just felt like i think it's a good thing to try and assist where you can it really really um helps you know build our relationships and um you know make other people feel like they're not alone i think we are i do believe that we are created for connections and um when we need people the most and they show up for us whatever way that is i think it makes us feel better quicker you know so that's all for today's video i don't even have a random fact today i just want to get this video done with <laughs> But I do hope to see you again next week. Until then, do take care, love and light to you all.